Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Ebikhausen. I'm currently a rising senior at the University of West Florida. I am majoring in mechanical engineering and I plan to graduate in spring 2024. I was a part of University of Florida's SURF program, which stands for Summer Undergraduate Research at Florida. I worked within the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering at the Particle Engineering Research Center. My project involved analyzing the behavior of particle clusters in Stokes flow. Stokes flow is flow with a very low Reynolds number. The drag force exerted on connected clusters of particles, called flocks, was analyzed within this flow. This is useful for predicting the behavior of sediment flocks within bodies of water. This is valuable for environmental sciences, a field whose importance is plainly visible throughout the vibrant campus of UF. My research involved using computer programs to generate flocks, then analyzing the total drag force on each flock for a given flow. The goal of the project is to create a data set that can be used to train a machine learning algorithm to predict the drag force a flock experiences based on the flock's parameters. The Ubuntu distribution of Linux was used to compile and execute the codes used in this project. The aggregates were created using an algorithm called FRACVAL. FRACVAL creates flocks of a user-specified fractal dimension, fractal prefactor, and number of particles. Based on these, flocks of a wide variety of shapes and sizes can be created. We plan on creating a data set consisting of the drag force on a thousand flocks for nine different combinations of fractal dimension and prefactor. The Vim text editor was used to change the aggregate generation parameters, and the JEdit text editor was used for the mass formatting of the flocks. The effect of fractal dimension and prefactor can be seen in the following aggregates. Values of fractal dimension range from 1 to 3, with a fractal dimension of 1 corresponding to a straight line and a fractal dimension of 3 corresponding to a sphere. The fractal dimension specifies to what degree an aggregate packs a 3D space. While the fractal dimension is an important variable within aggregates, it alone is not enough to fully characterize an aggregate's shape. The prefactor accounts for shape variation within specific values of fractal dimension. The total drag on each flock was found using a code based on Filipov's method, described in the paper provided in the video's description. The Filipov code assumes monodispersity of particle size. This means the radius of each particle must be the same. For this demonstration, aggregates consisting of 50 particles are analyzed. The program took around 15 minutes to analyze a flock for the 150 particle flocks. Each 300 particle flock took around 12 hours to be analyzed. Because of this, the number of flocks for the 300 particle datasets was reduced from 1000 to 100. As you can see, the program outputs the calculated drag force on the aggregate in each direction based on a specified flow. My faculty mentor for this project was Dr. Balachander. My PhD mentor was Terry Dowd. My lab mates were Blaise Frazier and Joshua Gillis. I also received help from Minglen Yu and Zhao Yu. SURF has been a great opportunity to experience graduate school at UF. I would like to thank everyone mentioned previously, as well as the university, Mike Nazareth, and Ashley Wilson for their parts in the SURF program. I hope to someday earn a graduate degree in aerospace engineering from the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering. I am interested in fluid sciences and would like to have a career using knowledge of fluid sciences in aircraft design. Thanks for watching.